Hello, in this video I'm going to showcase you two Ultra League matchups that I had in a Brazilian format. The format that I'm playing is actually a show 8 band 2 format in Ultra League Premier, which was a pretty difficult format to play in, to be honest. I, I like it a little bit more with legendaries uh, as well, like a Giratina or something. Um, these are the teams that we have. He has double water with a lantern. People are just addicted to lantern, man, which is annoying. Gliscor is entirely free into my team, kinda, if he bans that, Lan that Lapras. So that was my first idea. I probably want to look into banning that glass score because if I uh, he probably bans my lepers right it's good into like with water guns okay into alone scent slash as well it's fine into uh, swampert can be good into dragals can be fine into wheezing can be fine into dragons good into glass score uh, lepers probably going right so I could count on that. Um, if I ban Gliscor, I also make my Trevenant and my Tentacruel and my Scrafty and my Skuntech much better. So this was a very obvious ban for me that I was going to utilize. And then the other one was likely going to be Alolan Sanchez to free up my Skuntech. My Clefay will be a little bit better even though it can win the zeros, I believe. Um, Trevenant will be better. Tentacruel will be better. Um, so yeah, let's see uh, what he was going to ban on my side. So he banned my Talonflame and my Lapras, and I think he was afraid if I banned both his water types, that, Dragal that Talonflame would almost be unstoppable. He would only have Dragalch for it. Um, this does leave my Clefable and Trident wildly unchecked, so I feel like I have a pretty good matchup here. And also the Dragonite looks very playable, although he still has that Galarian Wheezing, which is likely to come out here. I'm not going to play a lot of special movesets here, just Acid Spray and Blizzard on Tentacruel, because if I want to play Tentacruel to play into Wheezing and Dragalch, I'm going to need Blizzard and Acid Spray. Um, I don't really see a lot of use for Scald besides, um, what's it called, Swampert, so, uh, like, if I need to force two shields, I spray is a little bit better for me. Unfortunately, I'm starting with a 0-1 to one penalty because we ended our bans uh, a little bit too late. I wasn't aware how that went, uh, um, well, that's for next time. So, I only have two battles for this set. Looking at the matchup, I don't really expect his water Pokemon to come out because my turn is entirely free into his team. So my Clefable could be very good as well. He does lead Swampert though, which is interesting. And I think that is because he was targeting Clefable. In the back is Dragals, it's one of his safe switches. Um, and it is a very comfortable matchup. Gunk Shield will take me out in almost one attack though. So I have to be wary of that. I don't want to take that one to the face. Uh, I'm going to go for Meteor Mash because two uh, Moonblast will do more damage, but I need two attacks to knock out anyway. And he actually throws one before the Gunk Shield. So I'm like, wait, did I miscount? No, it's only Aqua Till. Which makes this matchup so dominant for Clefable. I can take three Aqua Till and I still wouldn't be in farm down range here. So, looking quite good here. I could undercharge this, but I want to knock him out so he can't get a farm down with Swampert. Um, unfortunately, that Meteor Bash barely does knock out and he does get an Aqua Till anyway. So, that's kind of unfortunate. Now, I wish I did undercharge to get a bigger farm down, but it's okay. We come out with a Moonblast regardless, which would do a ton of uh, damage. I swap out into Trevenant right away though, because again, he doesn't have an answer. So, what's he going to come in with? His own Trevenant? Weezing, maybe. Weezing would make sense to bait out my uh, Clefable with Dragalge to free up either Annihilate or Weezing. Though I must say, I think Dragalge will be a better sweeper. Because let's say I brought Clefable into like Weezing, which comes out here. Then his Dragalge will be okay into my Dragonite still. Uh, Dragonite doesn't really have anywhere to go now though, because uh, it's bad into this. I don't have Steel Wing on it, which would make this matchup way more manageable. But I can still keep it for the Swampert. So I might just be okay. Brutal Swing does knock out, it does a little bit under half, the Shadow Ball will put this very, very low, all I have to do is just make sure that my Dragonite's fine here, so I'm gonna Meteor Mash this, even if he gets an entire farm down, he needs like, he needs like four Hydro Cannon, uh, there's, there's absolute zero chance he will get there, in fact, can I get to another Charge Deck here? I would have been able to get to a Meteor Mash, I don't think to a Moonblast, even Meteor Mash Resisted would do so much on a Fragile Swampert, I'm gonna go into Trevenant just to make him throw energy, he throws pretty much immediately, at this point I'm, I'm, I'm I mean, it already was hardly losable. He stops that thing, sees the Dragonite, um, and yeah, Dragonite kind of walls Swamper, even though Hydro still is like half damage, but it's a good matchup. So I win the first battle. I'm making a slight adjustment for game two. I always expect this Pokemon to come out, so I brought Tentacruel, but it's in the wrong place. I have Clefable to bait out Swampert, because it doesn't really have a lot of great answers on this team, and even though Swampert is not really an answer, it's also his best neutral pick against the the Clefable. So I'm hoping it comes out. He's gonna go for player off first, looks like. Um, and then he has a swap because Clefable is a pretty good matchup into Galarian Weezing. A medium match is super effective on the on the fairy type. So he comes in with Swampert now. This is perfect. Tentacruel in the back now should be free. Unless he has Lantern in the back and I just get entirely RPS. But let's assume uh, not the worst just yet. He's gonna go for the Hydro. I wanna pull a shield here and the reason why is if there's Dragalch in the back I wanna get uh, some shields down so I can Blizzard the Dragalch. But I don't think I can use two shields. Um, 
because then his draw gulch may be a little bit difficult to deal with if he takes a shield advantage. So, I'm gonna let it go. He throws pretty much immediately, which allows me to farm more energy. Maybe he thought, oh, he already has a C-bomb loaded, I don't need to farm more anyway. Anyway, And I think I had a one-turn lag upon coming in there, so I'm afraid to get charge of purity tie with him. I'm gonna go for C-bomb to knock it out, and then I have quite some energy, pretty close to a Shadow Ball. Let's see what he comes in with. If he comes with Dragalch, he expects Dragonite in the back, but he comes in with Weezing. Even if it's Dragonite in the back, I think it's still okay to bring in for him, because Dragalch uh, might just drag until down. My Pokemon, let's see. I swap in Tentacruel. There it is, Dragalch. Dragalch's best pick into my team, but I have Blizzard on this Tentacruel, and I'm gonna go for it. Now, because he threw Aqua to only early into my Clefable, I think he has Outrage. He does shield it up, unfortunately, and I need to make a call. If he throws Aqua here, I will get outpaced to his Outrage. Any Outrages. So, this is perfect for me. Uh, this should win me the battle. I will now be able to get to the Blizzard. I believe he's one of actually. To the next Outrage. And then Blizzard knocks it out. Goodbye. And this is a really good matchup. This is why I brought Tentacruel in the first place. I didn't get the alignment I needed. But this is why I brought it. Um, <laughs> it just does so well into uh, the Galarian Weezing. Because the fast attacks do nothing. And the charge attacks also don't do a lot. So I win my first matchup. I had to get two wins out of two battles. And I did. So very happy with that. My first time playing in Ultra League in this competition. Um, but I have another matchup to show you this week. Because two battles is not enough. In the second matchup that I had, I just threw a bunch of new Pokemon in there. Like, I felt like if you play Show 8, Band 2, you can throw in anything, just hope to catch some Core Breakers and then utilize that to make a good matchup for you. But I'm not exactly uh, at an advantage here. My opponent used a similar team to his last round, which I didn't expect because before that they did change it up. So a little bit unfortunate for me. His score is very solid as well and it didn't bring like an alone Sanchez to Core Break most of these. I don't have... A fighter this time too, so Greedent is looking awful for me. My initial idea was to ban Tentacruel and Greedent, so his neutral play is gone. But yeah, I mean, his Aurorus could be very difficult if he bans my Clefable, which is 100% getting banned, and if he bans my Double. So I couldn't let that go. I banned uh, his Aurorus and his Galarian Weezing, so I could free up uh, both Mandibus and Gudra. And if he was going to ban Clefable, either Gudra or Mandibus was going to be free. So that's what I did. But then he banned um, Clefable and Mandibus on my side. So only Gudra was going to be free. Gudra is pretty underwhelming sometimes in neutral matchups. Because you don't have a cheap dragon type charge attack. Um, you really rely on super effective damage. Plus, uh, you know, the neutral dragon birds adding up. So let's see how this is going to go. Greedon with Trailblaze beats about everything on my team. So this is going to be a very rough matchup. Tentacruel is also really neutral into my team. Um, I'm going to play with Venusaur a lot here because it does very well into those two. Um, and let's see how that's going to go. I'm going to lead it because I think like Mandibuzz lead with those two in the back or Dragon lead will be too obvious so he wouldn't do that. But he does! And uh, this is terrible. I expect Air Slash um, on this to make it a little bit better into uh, most of my Pokemon. And let's see. He actually stays in into the Galarian Weezing I want to say. Which is interesting because I guess he's just chipping this. Let's see, going for the Aerial Ace is interesting, that does like no damage, and I don't want to throw energy into this just yet. Because if I throw energy, um, he might just swap out and retain switch advantage, which I don't like. I want to try and flip it. Greedent comes in, but man, I'm already so low now. I'm hoping that a Thunder Punch plus a Draco Meteor will knock out here and that I flip switch advantage. That'd be great. But in the back is probably Tentacruel, and Tentacruel with shield advantage also does probably pretty good into my team. I'm going to go for the Draco Meteor. Very good timing there. Does his knockout. Come on, Gudra. One of the hardest hitting attacks in the game. Coming from Dragon type. And it barely does a knockout. I think that my play was to shoot here and try and farm down. Because I snuck a Dragon Breath there. And I think I would have lived one more Mud Shield. Uh, because then I have Weezing on a Snarl Mandibus. Which is great. But now it's still a Mandibus. Which is not great. He's waiting out the clock. Very smart. Going into Weezing in the back. Stance cool. And I'm pretty much uh, hard counted here. I'm still going to try a lot. But this is just going to... I'm going to skip a little bit forward here because I'm going to throw a ton of Brutal Swing and Shield here as well. Um, as you can see, we're here now. He still has two shields. That, that Tentacruel is still only, it hasn't even used one. And now my Venusaur is on this. Yeah, this is just looking very uphill, right? I, I, I tried, but um, the closest I would get is he throws right before my last Slush Pump. Um, I believe he still has a shield. And I need to get to three Brutal Swing at this point. It's just impossible because he's at the attack right there at the end. Um, I don't know, if I lead, uh, by first, in, in most of my practice, I led Double or Galarian Weezing and not Venusaur. And I, I really wish I did this time. Double would have been great into this team, actually. Next battle, it took me a while to pick my team. I would assume it's easier for him with two really safe Pokemon. And I get the lead here. This is great. 
But if he swaps in Tentacruel, I don't really know what to do with this. I assume he has Blizzard, so if I swap in either Venusaur or Gudra, I'm also needing to use his shield, and then he can use his backline to sweep. So I'm going to go into Gudra here. Maybe Venusaur wants to play. I don't know, man. Let's see. I'm also not sure what to expect in the back. I think at this point I expected either uh, Mandibus or Annihilate. I decided to go for Gudra because the energy is more useful. I get the farm down entirely here, which is great. But you notice I have Draco, though, because I already revealed it. And if he shields one of them, it just becomes a little bit nasty because it gets a lot of farm down. And if Greedent, like, Trailblazes first on the double, he actually can make this super, super close. He calls my first attack. Now I'm going to go for the Draco Meteor. Just one not count just yet, as we saw earlier. It does, like, no damage to this freaking thing that just never faints. I'm trying to get out to preserve this Pokemon, but it throws right before my timer's up, which is obnoxious because now there's less left of my Gudra. Which I may need into this Pokemon. I hard swapped there because I didn't want to get like farmed down. But I'm not sure if that was the play. Um, like my initial thought was if he has Shield Advantage Annihilate. He would just sweep me. But now he doesn't even have Shield Advantage anymore. So this definitely wasn't my best play. I think he could have countered me down. But didn't want to take the risk of eating another Wild Charge. Uh, because then I would probably just uh, Vine Whip him down. And now I'm in trouble because he has an Energy Advantage uh, as well. He still has that Greedent at... Uh, I don't know, maybe I would have had that if I didn't switch out in hindsight. I was very afraid of an, a, a, a shield advantage Annihilate, and maybe I needed that good drive. There was Mandibus in the back, so swapping out seemed, I thought was going to be my best play, but it's it's not looking like it. Charsec Purity here. Um, he shields that obviously goes for an Ice Punch, and then into Greedent, which already had an attack, and I believe he's two off another one. A Frenzy still wouldn't knock out, so like unless I get like a, a weird catch, I'm going to try, but it doesn't matter. I need to have a Frenzy loaded, and if I have a Frenzy loaded, I get outpaced by an Eyelip, so this is very much game over. I think maybe my play was not to swap out, but only in hindsight, right? Uh, well played. I lose 2-0 uh, here, unfortunately, but I want to salvage uh, one point just uh, to feel a little bit better about it. All right, the final battle. I need to salvage at least one point, man. Let's see how it's going to go. Double into Tentacruel. Okay, not the worst, but I didn't bring my uh, Galarian Weezing, so... And this is kind of annoying, because I brought Palacent this time. I was hoping he would feel too comfortable with Tentacruel and Annihilate. Throws an Alignment in as well, by the way, so that's just fine. And then I'm going to go for Double Wild Charge, just to get a lot of damage in here. He might shoot one of them to keep Switch Advantage, depending on what he uh, thinks is in the back. If he wants to keep this versus, like, um, what's it called? My potential Galarian Weezing, he might just use two shields here. Gudra is my only safe Pokemon. It's, been, it's just been so underwhelming this whole time. Because he has so much bulk to just catch all my attacks on. I'm going to shield this up because it could be a blizzard. It's Scald though. Very good bait by him. He has the attack drop as well, of course. In comes Mandibus. Which is great, kinda. Because now my Palacent, which is entirely walled by this with ground and ghost attacks. Um, it will do nothing into that. And because the, he got, I got debuffed, uh, my Thunder Punch also are not even remotely threatening. So it's kind of... Bad, bad, bad all overall. If the team comp wasn't getting me, then it's now debuffs as well. So maybe I can do something with uh, Palacent. Let's see. I'm going to go into double, trying to get to an attack here. But he won't let me get to the wild charge. Unfortunately, I'm going to let that go again. <sighs> Man, but I do get there, actually. I actually barely live. Double best buddy coming in clutch. And he lets that go. So this is actually maybe okay, but he gets too much of the advantage now, man. Give me a break. So I have a Thunder Punch stored. I don't get to a Draco, probably. Maybe I do have Draco or get, get to it. I'm going to go into my Palacet now. I have the wrong move set. I meant to have Sand Attack to have a little bit more damage here. Now, I guess now I get to three Charge Sex quicker. But as you can see, Trouble is going to add up here. The next one will knock out. I'm going to go for another one here for Scorching Sense. Uh, hopefully, hopefully this drops the attack because then I would live another uh, Trouble. And I actually do get the drop. So maybe there's play. But I'm a Bozo and actually shield this. This may actually have lost me this game. I think it actually was play. If I no-shoot that, I would live it. He would need to go for Body Slam, but I would knock him out in three Scorching Sense. Weak connection for no reason. Let's see. And I even catch the attack. Yeah, pfft, it's just freaking hopeless, dude. Because I think that the Tentacruel, the Poison Jabs are double resisted, right? So it might not be able to do anything into my team. I'm just going to go for Shadow. I'm so sick of it. This is my only win that I can get right now. Yeah, kind of tough. Um... If I could throw the Thunder Punch and catch at the same time, maybe. But I even swapped on alignment, so that wasn't going to happen either. I would need to, like, wait a turn in my Mud Shot. I already stopped my recording there, by the way. Uh, I need to wait a turn in my Mud Shot, or his, for his Mud Shot, and then swap, throw the Thunder Punch immediately. Maybe then there was play as well. But I just should have no-shield the Trailblaze, honestly. Maybe there was play. So, yeah. 
Um, I broke the YouTuber algorithm. Uh, I actually showed me getting whooped as well, which we never do, I think, right? Um, I hope you liked the video, and I'll see you in the next one.